G'day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Gaming Gaming Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Kate Dennett. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Michelle Brazier. Ben. What? Pull it together. We're live. I will do whatever I want. Ben, what the? F I'm sitting like this for the whole. Well, you've ruined. No, you you've ruined it. And Ben Russell is here. Ben Russell. <laughs> um, thanks everyone for coming along. Oh my God, thank you so much, Evan. Can I just say, on behalf of me, Michelle, and Kate, you don't thank speak. Thank you so you. much for having us. <laughs> can I say that, Evan? Yes, you can. Oh well, thank you for not silencing me. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, I want to thank our new patrons who signed up since our last episode. Um, Dan Doolan and Brent Sp uh, Sprackle. <laughs> I was for... sad because Ben and I were fighting, but then I heard that last name and I, it was, you said it so carefully. Brent Sprackle, attorney at law. I was just making sure it wasn't Sparkle and I hadn't, you know, missed the letters up. Sprackle. Double checking. Sprackle. Uh, thanks so much for signing up to the patient. Yeah, he's probably like, hey, uh, Brett Sprackle. He's probably not like, I'm Brett Sprackle. Sprax. Brent Sprackle. Brent Sprackle. Brent Sprackle. Brent Sprackle. Maybe it's Sprackle. <laughs> hey, Brett Sprackle, Sprackle, I'll be operating on your Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Sprackle, Dr. bring Sprackle. it up the rear. You've lost another patient. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fifth time today. <laughs> boom, boom. Hang on, am I bad at this? <laughs> but I went to two years of school. <laughs> two years. <laughs> That's not enough to be a doctor. <laughs> no. Um, hey, we're streaming the recording of this show live on Twitch at the moment. Uh, if you go to twitch.tv slash show, um, next Thursday at around uh, 8.15, probably. I'm not sure. It depends on if Ben has Pilates. Um, you'll better watch us. I do have Pilates. Okay, great. So Why 8, wouldn't 8, you put Pilates when we'll... around the show? Because the show changed. I'm sorry, it's my fault. It is my fault. No, I'd already booked Pilates. Why wouldn't you book the show around Pilates? Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're working around it now. Do you have um, some respect for Ben's body? Uh, I Ben's have so respect, respect my body right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I always. Uh... Prove it. <laughs> Show us how you respect his body. Show me how you respect my body, Evan. Um, uh, we had a new COVID case today, so I don't want to get to What you that. did? Did you have one? No, not me. This Someone. Not Hotel quarantine. You need to take classes on respect. Yeah. We need to get some HR in here stat. <laughs> um, or some uh, theatre and education. Maybe some... Didactic know. learning. Yeah. Maybe a little play about respect. Do when you want to do it? Do you want to do a little play about respect? I, well, I worked for, when I was a, a boy, I worked for Constable Care. Oh. Which was its job to indoctrinate small children to trust the police when you should oh. never trust the police. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, I've got to undo some of that program. You do have to undo some of uh, But we did have a play about Respectus, who was an alien who came to planet Earth to learn the truth about what respect really means. And his name was Respectus. I'd come here as well. If I was trying to figure out what respect means, I'd be like, I'm going to go to that place. <laughs> <laughs> they seem cool. <laughs> and... Uh, Believer. I think uh, one of the kids, I think the day that I decided to quit, one of the kids shouted out, um, they were like, what, now I know the truth about respect. And like, yeah, respect us. And I was like, you're fucking right. <laughs> you're absolutely right, kids. Um, anyway, so if you want to see all the, the, the crazy <laughs> stuff that gets edited out of the show, uh, <laughs> just go to uh, twitch.tv slash show. 8.15 uh, on Thursday, and you can watch live as we tape the show, uh, and you can also join us for an after-show chat, so it was a bit of fun. What um, made that, um, made, what, what about that cool story made you want to edit it out? No, I won't be editing that out. I think that's, a, that's great, and that's, that's definitely going to be part of the show. Um, you know who you're acting like right now? The police. Cool off. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cool off, constable. Yeah. 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 Cops are not your friends, except for, I mean, obviously in private life, you might have friends that are cops. 
Yes. In which case they are your friends yeah, and you it. should give them gifts and money. <laughs> I saw a parking inspector talking to some building guys today and I think he was giving them a ticket and then they were like, no, don't. And then he was like, well, okay. And then he said, thank you. And I was like, is this a bribe? Cool. <laughs> Can you bribe parking inspectors? Yeah, if you try hard. Yeah, right. If you um, work hard. What are you, have you ever What's bribed What's wrong? One? I've never bribed one. I've, What's I've, wrong? You know, I've weaseled my way out of parking tickets. Mm. But, um, not with money, no. I mean, it almost defeats the purpose to pay to not get a fine. I would never pay anything for okay. anything. I've never paid for anything. Wow, that's <laughs> impressive. I've never paid. Uh, Okay. I would never. I would never. Anyway, uh, so uh, we also have a subreddit. You can if you go. want to see all the cool stuff that gets edited out of the show. <laughs> well, that's not getting edited out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You what are you go. doing? Join our subreddit. It is uh, reddit.com slash r slash gamey game is what it is. Um, people post memes there. There's some funny pictures of small desks. It's, it's great stuff. Uh, <laughs> Funny pictures of small desks. Well, because I, it was a bit funny because this, yes. the, the, if you look at the old desk now, this is a new desk, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. Yes, I did. If you look at the old desk now, sorry, like, sorry that I is asked. so small. I'm so sorry, I Shut up. Anyway. Um, okay. So. <laughs> what is I don't know, he's crying he's inside the him up. He exists. <laughs> 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 he was trying to get up and then now he's up, but he's still making the same noise. I think he's whinging because we're not Please kill me. Do you want some food that is made for the big dog? Yeah, you know you know who's not whinging right now is Eva. It's Eva's first time on the show. She's just here. She's yeah. lying down. You can't see her because she, trust us, she's there. Um, <laughs> Eva. There, you'll see her at Eva. some point. I'm sure she'll... I'm sure she'll... Eva, come here. Just, she's also black and glossy black, so hard to see her. Um, can the you see her? Video. Can you see her there? Hard. No, she just blend, she's black. Eva, <laughs> hang Please on. believe us. Eva, here. It's over here. You gotta go around. It was just no dog. Her theatre black song because she's crew today. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's crew. She's crew. She's unit. Can you cha- can you like do that and take her out? Eva, look. <whistles> Eva, look. Look at this. Look, I've got it. I don't have a dog. People Eat fully it. believe there's no dog. There. Look at this. Look, come here. <laughs> come here. Come on. She can't step across the... What's this? What's this? What's this? this? What is this? What's this? What's this? What's this? I look like a Goliere. Yeah. What's this? Hey, hey, Eva. Great, all right. She's so tall. Hey baby, he good. Sorry about that. This week. She's shy. She's like me. She's shy. <laughs> Are you shy? I'm so shy. Um, this week we're going to take a look at Destruction All Stars. But first, uh, this week gamers were shocked to learn that uh, Lady uh, Dimitrescu, Dimitrescu. Would it kill you to do some homework before you got on the fucking desk and presented? I asked show? how. Dimitrescu. Okay. Dimitrescu. It's an unusual. Dimitrescu. Dimitrescu. Uh, this week, one of them. gamers were shocked to learn that Lady <laughs> Dimitrescu... Can you uh, edit every time he says it over the top? <laughs> every time he says the name, can you make it me saying Dimitrescu? Yeah, the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamers were shocked to learn that Lady Dimitrescu... Uh, the villain in the upcoming Resident Evil Village is 2.9 metres or 9 foot 6 inches tall. 9 feet 6 inches tall, I think would be the way of saying that. Um... Anyway, she's very tall, guys. I don't know if this is... If she was a real lady, I'd be like, that lady is tall. But because yeah. she's in a video game, I don't see how this is news. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. maybe something of an... It's been a slow news week, I think. But no, this is beyond slow news. Was she <laughs> was she short in another one? No, I, I, don't, I think she's a new character. Um, she's really tall. That's why people were wondering just how tall is she? It's like how tall is this woman? Two point nine meters. Yeah, I mean that's quite that's uh, taller than. I'm that tall. It's taller than these. Ah, no, no, no. I am that tall. It's taller than yes, the tallest person ever to live. Yeah, me. There's no. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but how tall is Kratos, man? You know, like pretty tall, eh? I don't. It doesn't it. matter because she's a fictional character, Evan. I can make a fictional character that's taller than her. Really? Yeah. Who? What? Uh, Who Grievous. <laughs> okay. Rebus is so tall. How tall? Rebus. Four. Yeah. For what? Me- meters? 
Yeah. Four meats. Four meters. Four, meters. four full meats. Uh, Grievous is four meters. One and cow is one meat. Is four cows long. Bigger in every way. Do you know how tall the ceiling in this building is? The ceiling oh, here. This is three meats. That's pretty close. Thank you. <laughs> I'm an engineer. It's, it's a very, a very yeah, good guess. It's about three meters up to the beams. So I don't the, know the if that's a good room. guess or if that's just like a woman got it right. All right. Okay. I've never enough, gone in. I've never actually gone in on any Resident Evil game. What? Yes. Even um, any of them? Even any of them. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that Can one. Can you believe it? Oh, now that you mention it, yeah, no, that one, yeah. Can you, okay, can you believe that when I said I've never gone in on any Resident Evil game, can you believe that that means even any of them? Even any of them. That's crazy, yeah. man. <laughs> um, have you, Kate, played any Resident Evil games? I think I played a, uh, a DS one oh. a little bit, actually, now that I'm thinking yeah. about it, but it wasn't for me. I guess. Yeah, they're not they're not games that I gravitate to necessarily. I uh, find them kind of stressful. I think j survival games in general uh, stress me out a bit. I'm not. Mm. I, I don't like resource management in games because it just feels like a lot of hard admin work. Um, it is hard. Yeah, I mean, just let like me have. Every, I don't want to have to manage what I can carry. Just let me carry. Keep the beans everything. safe. Found more beans. You want to put down some beans? I've never played this game. Yeah. I don't know what game. I don't know. Are. There might be beans in it, but the, either way, the point. Beans, 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 beans. Beans, 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 beans. She's um. So she's a vampire, and she's very tall. Beans, 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 beans. All I want to do. I should point out. Height, uh, uh, two point nine meters. That includes her high heels and her hat. Oh, okay. So she could just have like a really big shoe and. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can also a huge hat. <laughs> it is a big hat. This feels like it, now it's RuPaul. Gonzo's upset because he is very small, and we are. I just gotta be. About, like, very so big much lady. stuff that There's happens in computer lady. games, and why is it because? Something normal never happens in a computer game, so they're like, shush, shush, shush. "Oh, lady, that can't it's, be right." And then they get on the group chat, and go, "Okay." It's got to be more this? gaming news out the there. The ladies, I don't the think there was anything. I mean, where did she buy her clothes? She's too tall. <laughs> yeah, Google Stadia has had some issues. Um, uh, uh, God of War, War, the new God of War has been updated for the PS5. Yes, that's happened. Uh, um, 343 Studios came out with a new dev blog documenting their progress on the new oh, Halo. Oh, do you want to get right. down? Um, a, a developer got safe? bought out by another company? Literally. Which, which company got bought out? Does anyone remember? Oh, that's I bought it. This is literally your I bought a gamey game. This is literally your no, job. We don't do news on this show. I've been adamant that we don't do news on this show. What are you talking I know. about? What is this segment then? This is like a, this is like a bit of a this is like a, a, a you know a bit of a like a odd news story to start, like a bit of a light news to start the week. But we don't do like the news of the week. We don't do that. Oh, on Mass Effect. I'm used uh, to dealing in staffies who yeah, can leap anywhere. Because they corrupted the source code. Or so precious. I played that DLC, so I've sucked yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> this Fucked just in, fuckheads. In. It's not actually that good. It's just kind of a room. Um, Lady Dimitrescu. She's very sh very tall. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, did you guys play the uh, the uh, game? Yes. Game stock stop. Mario. Stock has plummeted. People have lost. <laughs> All their money. Well, that was always going to happen. Yes. That's the money. You should have sold. I thought it was going to s sky high. Um, so? That was my hot tip as a financial advisor. Uh -huh. But it goes to stay high. Uh, Kate, happen. just before I saw you were playing a bit of the uh, Resident Evil Maiden demo. Well, you watch me now? <laughs> I mean, it was, <laughs> it was in the room. Uh, well, Evan, I was playing that at home. I never played it here. <laughs> Google Stadia is pretty much dead. Well, yeah, they closed down what one of their studios. They cancelled some projects. Yeah. But look, um, I, 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 I still have faith that they're going to pull through. Uh, not even you believe that. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> believes that. Um, no one. Not even people at Google. Yeah, we're going to cut uh, that. Google saying they're still going to, you know, it's going to pull through is like me saying, yeah, I'm definitely coming 
to your party. You Evan? come to my party one time. Oh, to Evan. No, yeah. you wouldn't come. I'm definitely coming to your party, Evan. I'm not going to come to his party. Yeah. I don't have many parties. And I wouldn't even know. <laughs> um, they're not friends outside of this. We're not friends. We are. We're on this, we're not friends. We're no, no, no. Friends. We are. We're friends. We're, we're friends. rivals. Friends. Yeah. We, um, Sometimes lovers, never <laughs> friends. Um... Very passionate. I, so yeah, the um, the I I I played the the Resident Evil uh, the Maiden demo they released on uh, for PS Five. I don't know if they released it on other things. No, okay, just PS Five. It's pronounced ps. Like when you call a cat, it's ps right. Five. Ps Five. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was. Uh, I didn't love it, but it looks very very pretty. It's very very good. What's the like, game play like? It's not really much. You do a lot. It's a lot of walking around. Um, do that. A lot of walking around. Like no weapons walk. or anything. It's more just like setting the scene. Um, you can get attacked by a, a vampire lady. Oh. I think one of the daughters of the Tell me you lady. smell that, please. <laughs> Michelle. She fought again? Yeah. <laughs> Am I fucking going insane here? <laughs> She's just doing it at you. <laughs> Fuck. That's good stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... It's uh, basically you, you, you walk around, you sort of explore um, this, this mansion mm -hmm. um, and you're sort of looking for a way to get out. You have to sort of rifle through things and find the things that you need to unlock the door to get through to the... A key! A key, yes. Um, That's what I'd be looking for. Yeah, but to get to the key, you've got to find some other bits to unlock some What bits? Things. Handbag? No. <laughs> um, like, a, like an eye, a ring with like an eye... Um, Gemstone sort of thing on it. Did you smell it? <laughs> I can smell. Yeah, thank you. My dog smells bad. <laughs> My dog smells bad, and it's not her fault. It's because she, I look at it. She's she been farted. eating her own poo, and what? I don't know how to make her stop. <laughs> <laughs> a double digested so that's just... part right now. <laughs> she keeps trying to eat it, her own poops, and she got a little bite two, two days, days ago. It would make a positive, and it would come out. And now <laughs> I have to brush her teeth. Like grass or hay. What you've got there is the worst formula for a bath. <laughs> it's a double cooked turd. <laughs> no. <laughs> but the maiden demo is very impressive looking. Don't, don't you think? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, sure. It was like you walk around. I I feel like I wasn't playing it with the sound on, which I think could have impacted how scary I found it. It's definitely spooky, the, the sound. I think your own footsteps are a bit too loud in it because you're like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a bit- Why did I wear these gum boots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like that. You're trying to just sneak around because anything could be around any corner, you know? What's um, the soundtrack like? What songs? Oh, I don't know if there's songs really. What cool songs? Uh, Dabba dabba dab dip bop a day. That song? Shark do 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 Baby shark 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 Just sort of And that is spooky Just sort of I got hairs on the back of my neck Baby shark Pick it up So you're sort of wandering around and then there's like a vampire woman who can attack you and you just kind of have to just avoid her You can't you can't fight back or anything Don't take her toy Oh Oh wow Oh I called Gonzo a her and I'm sorry, oh, but he... A very feminine dog. Gonzo is a very manly dog. Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, Gons. Eva. <laughs> you have been out alphaed, my friend. Eva, um, leave it. Good anyway, girl. Look, to be honest, I didn't... Okay. I think the, the Maiden demo, I think, looked really great. I think it looks, like, incredible, but almost photorealistic. Like, it looks very, very nice. Yes. Yeah, it was, um, like, walking around and like, this house is... Yeah, and, it's, and it is a nice. Yeah, look, I'm a Nice place. Um, but it, uh, I, I don't. I'm not a fan of the gameplay really because it's. I, I just get frustrated when I'm like, ah, oh, I need a key to get to this door, and it's, and you just gotta, have, you gotta look through like cupboards and drawers to find yeah. it. Like, I just want the key. I don't want to have to rifle around. I'm gonna play this game when it comes out. You're gonna play. And it? If I like it, you have to give me a hundred dollars. All right. That was insane. Oh my god, Evan. You can just say he likes it. He doesn't need to like it. He I mean, need to play it. I mean, you'll have to prove it. Evan, 
<laughs> when this game comes no. out. No. What would you have him it. do? It's on camera. In the game. I like it. He you have to give me $100. I can't $100. believe he fell for my clever uh. wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not made of $100. I can't just. No, I know that you're not made of $100. I'm not made of $100. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you're not made of $100 because... Mr. Money is. <laughs> I'm made of a hundred dollars. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> um, it's all fun and games, but I'm going to play that, and I hope that I'm going to honestly try and like it. Well, it's you know, I, I you give it a go. It's the honor system. Yeah, you have to be honest if you don't like it. Obviously. Yeah. I'm not going to... What do you mean, obviously? Why would he be honest? <laughs> Why would he do that? Why oh, would I'd that be what that's... he does? You think he's going to do that? You think he's just going to say, oh, I would love that, Hanji. Well, I don't like him. I don't like him. I didn't like big lady tall hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be just just picked up like a little boy. By the big lady in the tall hat? big lady. Well, maybe that's... Just be like, hey, happens. Benny. And I'd sit there like, hey, big vampire lady, what's up? What's up, you crazy lady? Anybody? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming she's the villain. She might, she... Receiving money for this service, I feel like that would be you could get that. I'll give her a hundred bucks. I feel like you should pay her more than a hundred bucks. It's just one up and down. <laughs> yeah, but what? Up and down? <laughs> Scoop you up and throw you down. I used to do that to bullies because I was really tall. I've been this tall since kindergarten, and I <laughs> used to run up like literally this tall. I haven't grown at all. I was born really early, like premature. I was like, there's a lot of stuff. I had too much skin on my, I'm fine now. And I, um, the, the doctors told my mom it was too late in life, but we, they had me. And I used to <laughs> run and pick up this bully who, who would like bully all the other boys. And I'd pick him up and throw him down. Yeah, right. Sounds like you pick him were up, the bully. And throw him down. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. you were the vampire lady. I was the vampire lady. Well, I just didn't want Eva, come here. I didn't want the bully to be bullying, them, but I think I made it worse for the boys who then, when I wasn't there, they had to be like, oh, a girl had to come and, you know. I think I made it. I didn't know about gender politics. I didn't know that it would affect people's egos. Mm. I didn't understand what bullies were and who why knew bullies bully. That men no, had egos. Honestly, that is. I had no idea. Uh, there's yeah. no way to know. I was five. I didn't know what men were. Huh. Uh, are you a tall person? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you ask me that question? Because well, I Sometimes know. Sometimes I just want to make it clear that in our lives, Evan and I have spent time standing up, and he has seen me. On my feet. On yeah, my but sometimes feet. you'll wear heels or something. I don't not, feel like I have an accurate measure. I'm not a tall person, but I'm okay. tall for a kindergarten. Student. Right. How right. much do you bench? I feel like you could still reasonably <laughs> be the tallest person here. I'm not the tallest person here, I don't think. Okay. Yes. Who, who, who do you think is I'm the I'm 163 centimetres tall, which is one, like one third of tall vampire hat woman. Right. I think I'm like 170 something. Maybe. Okay, so you're taller than maybe, me. Yeah. What are you? You're... You're not a tall man. I'd prefer not to say. <laughs> <laughs> but you... I'm definitely the strongest. I could beat. I don't think I, you are I the strongest. That. I, I could think that I'm the strongest. Beat anyone here in a fight. I reckon bite. you could bench I reckon, anyone, yeah. I think you're underestimating me, Russell. <laughs> I reckon I could bite all of you at the same time. <laughs> and the dogs? No. No, I don't want to fight the dogs. There you go. You want to fight Ben? No. <laughs> I don't want to fight a black Labrador. Get him. Attack. She doesn't know how to fight. <laughs> you know how to do real smelly farts. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's how it gets you. It distracts you. It makes your eyes water. You know how every um, Pokemon has a power? That's like her power. Farts? Farts. Let's, we got uh, the same power. <laughs> Maybe we should. Oh, oh, Take it back, Gonzo. Oh, good girl, Eva. Uh, wow. You offered her real good. I oh, know we didn't even want it. Um, Maybe we should crack on. Why? Probably Evan. What's, was, the, what's the tallest woman you've ever seen? Me. Uh, he thinks I'm the tallest woman. No, I... Do you think this is me? <laughs> I could see you in that hat. Thank you. <laughs> um, this week saw the release of yeah. Destruction All-Stars, an action-packed multiplayer sports slash vehicular combat arena game for the PS5. Let's take a look at the trailer. 
Welcome to Destruction All-Stars. I'm Aaron James. And I'm Mia Chan. For tonight's main event, let's recap the action from last week when Lupita delivered an absolute masterclass. She immediately acquires a fast vehicle. Genesis in her sights. Hits the slam. Oh, wreck. Perfect timing for maximum devastation. This performance has earned his special ability breaker and a new ride with invisibility. And Lupita has not seen him coming at her. She was asleep at the wheel there. Absolutely. And her vehicle showing it's built for speed, not taking down. She's been wrecked, so now on foot. This is going to test her. Lupita, charged now, ignites her breaker. A killer move. Looks like Shift is hungry for more, but the gravity-defying evade comes at the last second. Fantastic. Fuego comes out of nowhere, and now Lupita is right on top of him. Didn't need a right to read, and she's ready to take this bull by the wall. Lupita's back in the saddle, a textbook takeover. Enough wrecks in her way. She calls in wildfire. Oh, yeah, and it's all over now. At the perfect moment, she deploys her vehicle breaker to bring the heat. Lupita blazes her way through the competition, lighting up the arena. That was a night to remember and one for the Wolfpack. But can she find the win this season? No doubt she wants it, Aaron, but there's 15 other athletes who want it just as bad. Prepare yourselves for the most explosive season in history, right here on Destruction All-Stars. That was a look at the trailer for Destruction All-Stars, uh, which just came out this week for PS5. Uh, guys, what are your, what are your, what are your I I immediate impressions? Big, lots of colours, very oh, yeah. colourful. Don't very colorful. enjoy aesthetically this. Do not like oh, it. Oh, you don't like the colours? No, it is too much. It See? looks stressful to me. <laughs> it seems like a teenage boy's bedroom who collects a lot of memorabilia. Mm. And it moves too fast. And the girl's butt, very tight. Did appreciate it, but I don't know why it was there. And she <laughs> runs like this. And those are all my thoughts. Well, I mean, there's a lot of girls in it, but... Well, my favourite girl... Actually, she's not my favourite girl. My favourite girl is a different girl, but I can't remember her name. Melody. Harmony. I don't know. I hate this game. What? Okay. <laughs> Look, I, I found the, the visual style quite good. I, I thought it was... I thought it actually looked better than I thought it was gonna... What if your house looked like this? What well, your no. House like your house <laughs> does look like this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do have a lot of colourful stuff in your house. There is a... There, yeah, yeah. It's... it's uh. It's, what if my house looked like this? You'd be like, something's going on. That would be unusual, yeah. Yeah. yeah no, your, your house is nice. Yeah, it's it's mid-century modern furniture. It's stunning. Yeah. <laughs> my house is nice too. Yeah, it is. Uh, yes. Yes. Your, oh. Is your house nice? I'm, no, I, we need to move out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you live here? <laughs> you, you live in the, the big cargo smash arena? <laughs> we have to move! <laughs> oh yeah, it's too loud! Oh yeah, grab <laughs> um, Okay, so this is this is a, a game where you're you're driving around quite mm. a bit. Too fast. Um, Too furious. The the most of the time the point is mostly to smash into other people. Yes. These are the these are the characters. I think the characters, I quite like the characters. There's 16 different characters, like heroes, kind of like Overwatch and that sort of thing. You've got these characters that have different abilities. Um, I thought Box Top was a bit weird. Yeah. Um, there's, there's Box Top. I mean, Twinkle Riot. To be, like, he's, his whole thing is built to be like, hey, you love Fortnite and memes and this yeah. kind of thing. It's a, see, it's a bit like that, but for some reason it doesn't Just, rub me the wrong way like that stuff does. I mean, Box Top rubs me the wrong way. But... Yeah, Everybody this is else. Me the wrong way. <laughs> I'm getting rubbed the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else. Um... Box top looked like he just stormed the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> Save the children! We're taking it back. <laughs> yeah. uh, yep. Anyway, uh, he's just like a delivery right. guy, I think. Thanks, man. He's a special kind of delivery person. You can activate his breaker. So the breaker is like a, a special ability that each character has. Um, his breaker is to drop parcels uh, that knock down any opponents that come near. And, and then his hero vehicle, um, which each of the characters have their own hero vehicle. His is the box mobile, which launches these parcels attached to drones to bombard the enemy with damaging fireworks. So that gives you a bit of a taste <coughs> of what kind of what kind of abilities and stuff you might have with the different characters. 
So there's who else is there? There's Who's the one that can go invisible that you were playing as, Kate. Um, Robot. That's Shift. Shift is like yeah, he he can go invisible. That was cool. Yeah, I sort of played. I, that didn't. I don't know. The invisibility d didn't seem too much of a benefit. Wait, just, we could sneak up and hurt people. It's not really a sneaky. So it's not a stealth sort of a game. It's what more would of you a, do if you were invisible, Kate? I'd ram my car into as many people <laughs> as possible, just like Shift. <laughs> <clears throat> what would you do if you were invisible? Uh, I'd probably cool. sneak into my enemy's house and do poops. Your amenities? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are your poops invisible when they come out, though? No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I quite liked Lupita. Was one of my favourite characters because she, uh, she, her ability, her breaker is to have like a trail of fire behind her. And then you can light cars on fire. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I, yeah, I didn't play as Lupita, but I regret that now. That um, what have you lit on fire recently? If you could light recently? anyone on fire, who would it be? Uh, uh, those are two very different questions. Yeah? Um, wow. Uh, lit on fire recently. I don't think I've really lit anything on fire much. What about I anyone? I feel like you're thinking about it like, too, like a lot. Like you regularly do light people no. on fire, but because of COVID, you haven't like... Yeah, it's really been tough on... Arsonist. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> um, pyromaniacs. The house here was on fire the other day. Which house here? The house just next door to the studio. Really? Yeah. Why? I got a message. Did I'm you like, do that? I should go down it. No, it wasn't me. It was um, why well, somebody? Maybe somebody else. Oh, it could have been an accident, I suppose. But that seems unlikely. Like to proper me. fire? Like full well, on? I'm not sure. There were police and there were two <laughs> fire trucks. But look, it doesn't matter. Nothing happened. Well, the house burnt down. No, the house didn't burn down. The house it's burnt still there. It's, it's fine. It burnt singing. a bit. Singing. Enough to justify two fire trucks. And yeah, like enough to burn up whatever evidence Evan was keeping there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All the boys in the wall. Uh, uh, anyway, so there's a, a variety of characters. I think the character design's really good. I, there was something that, that just seemed good to me. You know how you play these games and the characters are no good? These characters seemed good to me. I don't know, I just didn't no. like this game, but I, to be fair, I don't, I, I didn't play it for long enough, but I, I just, the aesthetics of it are really stressful and I like stories in games, so I was right. like, this is a shit story. Yeah, there's no story. Even for a Fast and Furious franchise film, there's no um, family. Yeah, do you know what I actually think, I don't know, because it, it did, I could see my... Self looking at this being like, look, it's not really for me, but playing it, you'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. I could play this for a couple of hours, whatever, because it's just whatever. But it's not satisfying. Mm -mm. When you ram another car, I don't feel like it's satisfying. Yeah, right. Yeah. That moment, I don't think it's satisfying. No, it and should feel better. Is. It should be like the crunchiest, best thing in the world, but it's just like, bam, you did a thing. I want yeah. it to be like. Especially with that controller, which can make you feel very powerful. Yeah, so it does, it, it, being a, a PS5 game, it does take advantage of the, the, the better, Either. more accurate vibration features. So you can feel like when you're out of the car and you're running around the arena, you can feel your footsteps left, right, left, right in the controller. Um, as your car gets more damaged, you can sort of feel it sort of like... Um, Going right, da, da, da. Yeah, that, that sort of yeah. like clicking along in your, your adaptive triggers. Um, it, it takes advantage of the adaptive triggers for like your accelerate and brake. So like these sorts of things make it feel, you know, a bit more next gen, but I'm not sure that they, I, I don't know. I feel like they could have done better with those things. Mm. I think maybe they, it feels a little bit bolted on and not quite, just not quite fine tuned. Maybe that's yeah, something maybe they could work it. on, but, but the, I think, yeah, I think the haptic feedback could have been better and, and sure that, that I think would help a lot with the. The feeling of like ramming other cars, right. um, if the haptics were better, that would obviously make a difference there. Um, <laughs> Eva? She didn't quite get it. I played this game for exactly five minutes. Oh yeah. And? And I, first I was like, oh. Mm. And then I was like, eh. <laughs> and then I was like, nah. And I put it down and I came and sat at this desk. Okay. And I remember that. wanting to go back to it? Uh, you you'll go back to it. I wouldn't mind popping just one after the show, popping yep. down and having a, a play of a match. I will never play this game ever but again. But this game is not f for me. Mm. You know, mm. I can tell. I can tell by looking at it. It looks great. <clears throat> it's just not. It's not for me. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Unfortunately, I don't have a PS5, so I couldn't really play it during the the week. Um, because someone didn't give me a PS5 for Christmas. No one gave me a PS5 either. Sorry, everyone. PS PlayStation 
Can but I have a if PS5? someone did give me a PS5 for Christmas and it wasn't some kind of cruel joke that was played on us, <laughs> then uh, I would have played this and I would be able to have a little bit more of an, you know, informed what ha- opinion. Sure. What happened to you? Uh, well, um, Beck thought it would be really funny to uh, give me a PS5 and then say, no, it was just a joke. It was, it was a, a bit on the show, on the Christmas episode of the show. It was very funny. It was very funny. It, yeah, well, it maybe, was a funny bit. Maybe if we could do some jokes that, you know, <laughs> punched up. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ben. It's hard to be Ben. Yeah. Someone think about me for once in their lives. I think about you all the time. That's um, the present equivalent of Michelle sneaking up behind you, grabbing you and then slamming you into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can sort of, you can slam in this game, so so you can use your... Uh, I did learn that right at the end. Oh, right, and that okay. was way more fun. Once oh, I figured yeah. out how to slam, I was like, woohoo! But the rest of the game, I was like, this sucks. I reckon you'd, I actually think that you just are not very good at this game. I'm not very good at this game. Yeah, I'm exactly. the first to admit that I'm not very, I'm not good, very good at this game. I'm not very good at the game either. But uh, yeah, so slamming is where you use your you use your right analog stick to basically boost in a direction, and so you can sort of slam sideways to to slam into someone next to you. You can slam forwards to sort of boost up like that card did there, and and boost into somebody to do more damage. That's so that was pretty cool. It's not very realistic. You know, no, what I mean? like I've got a actually a big arcade. problem uh, that this isn't actually realistic. Uh, Actually, you know, if you crashed into someone, you could actually die. And drag races. So yeah. it's actually a little bit offensive and it's not historically accurate. I am. Um, I don't mind that it's quite arcadey in the way that it handles. It does mean that, like, dif- there are different types of cars that clearly feel very different. You know, that, that, that's kind different of... types of cars that clearly feel different. Well, I mean, like, because, because the. Because the um... They have different drive. Yeah, because the, the because the the physics are so arcadey and exaggerated. You've got you know lightweight vehicles that go faster, and you've got bigger vehicles that go slower, and more, you know the, 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 do more damage or whatever. What, what or sort of vehicle damage. would you be, Evan? To, actually, playing this game, I was picking. I prefer to go the heavier vehicles because it's all about <clears throat> dishing out damage. Mm-hmm. I think just picking the, the, the lighter cars just didn't seem. It's not a racing game. You know what I mean? Like. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes you can only get those cars, but I guess you can get away. Like, if you get really good at this game, you could probably run away. And by run, I mean drive. Like, you could be, like, good at dodging. You start on foot. Everybody starts on foot, and then the cars sort of drop down. Yeah, I couldn't get a car for, like, 20 minutes. You can't necessarily... I don't think there's a car for everybody at the start. So, like, you have to run and get get a car, whichever car you can get. Sounds like capitalism. If... Yeah, okay, that's good. But if you were a car, what sort of car would you be? Jeep, Uh, Wrangler. You're a Jeep Wrangler? Jeep Wrangler 2015 black two-door. Or a Suzuki Jimny. Evan? Uh, maybe like a, a Chrysler. Uh, no. You'd be a Chrysler? No, I don't think so. Chrysler, no. What would you be? I reckon you'd be like a, um, what's that? <laughs> Chrysler, the, the one that looks like an old car? The P P P. P- Pep, 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 pep. Like the uh, VWs? No, it's the, it's a Chrysler car, but it looks like an old the PT Cruiser. Oh, like a PT Cruiser. Yeah, you'd They're be a PT ugly, Cruiser. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Kate. I don't know. I don't think I know enough about cars, but I saw a Mini today, Mini Cooper, and I just wish that all the cities were full of Mini Coopers instead of any other type of car. I think it would be so much better. Just because they're fun and they're little and you could have little rally races and stuff. That's what I imagine London is like. It's not like that. Okay. (laughs) I would be a 2004 Mitsubishi Delica. Delica? (laughs) Yes. I um, have, I don't know what that is. Sure, why not? I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) It's a van. It's oh. a van? Picture a van. Mm-hmm. And then jack that van up, put some wheels on it, and go forward driving in the van. Kimi 
三菱から新登場
Um, Fuck, that's a six. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying is, at launch, maybe this would this is a, you know it was a compelling thing. I think t- the the full full retail price is too high, but I mean you can't buy it at the moment. You can't. The only way to get this game is on PS Plus for free. It's it's on PS Plus for at least two months. Normally it's one month. They're pushing it out for two months. Um, again, probably because the user base is small. Like they just aren't. So Sony was bragging about selling 4.5 million uh, PlayStation Fives. Which is pretty good considering they're very hard to, I guess, manufacture. I they're making a game. loss on all of those. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, how Nint- how's Nintendo going? Don't. Please don't. <laughs> please don't talk about how Nintendo's going. Nintendo is going swimmingly. They're fucking smashing. Yeah. All these other chumps it are is going, where are my consoles that have no launch titles whatsoever? <laughs> Nintendo's just sitting back and just fucking raking they it. They are raking it in. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why would you buy a PS5 now anyway? That's uh, the big question. Um, I keep on asking everyone, and no one, you wouldn't. That's you could the play, you could play Astro's. Right? right? Like, that's the thought process, right? Are you like, I, yeah. I am in lockdown and I want a console. I'm not a Nintendo person. I want a PlayStation. I love PlayStations, but I'm not going to buy a PlayStation 4 because then, as soon as all these lockdown, as soon as we've all got the vaccinations, yeah. mm. this thing is going to... Be on the up. Even with all the supply issues, I think this has been the most, the sparsest launch for consoles ever. Yeah. Like, if I was developing a game, yeah. I would, I would just wait for a while. <laughs> yeah. And just like, it, it's just because you're, it, you're just not going to have a good launch at the moment. There, there aren't enough people with PS fives. Yeah. To. to to be buying your game. It, even like you got bugs, you're right, you do have bug snacks and this. That's really oh, it. Bug snacks was it. Uh, bug snacks, this, and. Oh no, I think bug snacks is, is on PS, PC. Sorry, I'll take that back. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it is. Uh, but that's kind of it. There's no real reason why you need a PS5. I mean, there's, I, there's games that are. I still want better. one because I'm stupid. Yeah. Um, there's something wrong with me. I Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War was better good. on PS5. The controller is great. I think that Astro's Playroom is a great showcase of that and, and a loved great game. It. You brought up um, yours to my house and yes. I played it and then I had to tell Tim politely that it was time for Beck and Evan to go home and we'd have to put away the place. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's great. It's, uh, I, they, just, they really just need to make more of them uh, yeah. <laughs> because at the moment... I'll make them. You're on, the only way to... You'll make them. I'll make them. I'll do it. Okay. I'll make them out of Catherine's paper. Paper, paper and stations. Tupperware. Mm. Because women can do anything. Women can do yeah, it. Right. Um, women stick together. together. <laughs> Does your paper stick together? Yeah. That no, be it's very... excellent paper. Oh. It wouldn't. <laughs> Unless you wouldn't wanted it to. Uh, what? Are you... you know, Hitman 3 came out recently. Yes. Why couldn't we have done that? <laughs> I, um, I didn't... Uh, I didn't want to do well. Why not? What do you I got against I, the Hitman? I, I don't have anything against it, that I, but except that I haven't really, pl- well, I haven't played it. Um, but I didn't really play much of Hitman Two, and we'd already done Hitman Two on this show, and I just I felt like maybe there wasn't enough new in Hitman Three to sort of justify you know a new episode on it. But okay. maybe I mean, look, next week, who knows? Apology accepted. I didn't apologize. I accept no, your apology. <laughs> I think it's brave. You can only um, fold a paper in 12, and once you do it in 12, it will reach the moon. What? It's a truth. You mean you can only fold it in half? 12. 12 times. And it will get the moon. It'll hit, what do you mean? It'll when get you the do moon. it 12, it will get the moon. What does that mean, though? There's a fact, and it's around that you know it. You know the fact. So Google um, it. I think they should have... I think they should have pushed to get this out on PS4 as well, mm. or something else. Um, that would have helped quite a lot. Um, I think they another problem with it at the moment is not only are they not the, the player base is small, right? But also they don't have Australian servers, which so they only have servers in Europe, Japan, and the US. And the problem with Here, that is we call them wait staff. What? <laughs> oh, I see what you see what you're saying. 
I'm um, just, I'm dying over here. <laughs> um, so matchmaking. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, Evan. You're killing me. I'm, I'm drying up. I'm in a desert. And there's no water to be found. I'm a thirsty boy. Eva's upset. So matchmaking that you'll be sitting there waiting for a while, you know, to, to actually Relate get to that. Idea. You can play the, um, the, you know, the arcade and just play against bots, which, which I was doing a bit of. I did get into one online game. Uh, Very good. Evan, can we talk about were... Paddington? Sorry, I know you were going to say something, but what if we talked about Paddington? If you were... I know that you want to ask a, a question of Evan, but is it about Paddington? If two. you were... Paddington 2. If you were Paddington 2... I haven't seen two. any of the Paddington films. What? If you were to... Yes, Ben. If you were to develop a game, yes, what would which your Paddington game be? would it be? <laughs> One or two? Nicole Kidman or Hugh Grant? Ah, uh, Hugh Grant. That's the right answer. It is the best Paddington. Which one they is that one? Really good too. Okay. What sort of game? A Hugh Grant game. Paddington. You play <laughs> as Hugh, Hugh Grant. Oh, um, I think that's... Paddington. Oh gosh, I um, oh, I'm not entirely sure how to say this, but I'm I'm trying to buy a newspaper. And, uh, oh, 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 Jimmy Jams. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's it. <laughs> it's a talking sim. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is a talking sim. <laughs> Maybe we should move on from uh, destruction all stars. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, let's move on. Um, that is all for this week. Uh, but before we go, we have a Patreon question. The top voter question this week uh, was from uh, Christian Nordheim. Uh, Christian Nordheim, he's got a question. Uh, his question is, uh, does anyone have any favourite single-player games that they've completed more than once? Kate. Single-player games? Single-player games that you've completed. As in games that I've played alone? Uh, well, players, games that are single player, you can play it with someone next to you, but only one person can play a um, campaign. <laughs> yeah, I force, I force my partner to watch uh, <laughs> Mist over and over <laughs> with me. Um, yeah, I replay everything. Yeah? Yeah, all the time. I, 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 dip back, I dip my toe back in all the time. Yeah, but, like, but like you've played, you've finished the game and you've gone back and played it again. Yeah, I do that all the time with the Nintendo. Do you have games. a favourite? Uh, anything Mario. I'm always anything Mario. Back, you know, I'm always coming back to Mario. Yeah. yeah. Um, Michelle. I have never played a video game. You've never played a video game? <laughs> no. Yeah, right. Okay. It's interesting. It is. I've, I've, I've done it quite a few times. Yeah. Red Dead 1, Red Dead, um, and a second. You can slow. play with other people with Red Dead, though. Yeah, but I don't. Why? <laughs> <laughs> right. I play the single campaign. Yeah. Um, ben, uh, ben Russell Mass out Effect. here playing the single cam. Oh yeah, series. Once I played that, I replayed. See, I haven't played any of the Mass Effect games, and I'm looking forward to the remaster because oh, I hear so much about them, and I really want to check them such out. Such a good game. I'm so excited to play that again. Yeah, it is. Right. Pro- it may be my favorite RPG. Okay. Of all time, it's very good. RPG. The first one is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> uh, PG. My favourite are uh, Ruth, Ruth Bader. <laughs> Ruth Father. What? Ruth. Pater. Pater? Pater? Ruth. Goose. <laughs> Goose. Mine, Pater. Pater. Ginsburg. Goose. Uh, Wait, RP? No, it is Ruth. I have to go. Uh, what else? What other ones have I played a lot? I, I can't. Look, quite a. Not to brag. Assassin's but Creed 2. Yeah? Yeah, I love Assassin's Creed 2. One time I was on a chimney and a gust of wind came out of the chimney and it blew me up into the sky and it was a glitch and I was stuck there like this. <laughs> it was so good and I can't make it happen again, but I do keep trying. <laughs> right. I think I did the <coughs> Uncharted series all again when they released that. Um, they did the remastered versions of them all. Yeah. So I just played through the saga. I, you know, I have never played, I've never replayed a game. Like, really? like never finished a single player game and then gone back and started again. No, no, it's fun. Do you finish play. properly? Yeah. Do you always like finish, finish everything? No, no. Really? Did you finish Last of Us? Yes. That's not but, a single player game? Yeah, I didn't go back. I finished, yeah. I've, I've, oh, I've, I've, I've finished games, okay. but not then gone and played it again. Um, Will I, you watch the movie? Of what? The Last of Us. Uh, if, yeah, if there's a movie, I, well, I guess, yeah, I'll watch that. During lockdown, I got Mags into a couple of games. She played 
Firewatch and I watched. Oh, yeah? In a way, I replayed that game. Oh, yeah, okay, I mean, that's something. I think if I was... The, a game that I really want to replay is Titanfall 2 because it was quite a short campaign. It was so good. The, uh, I played a couple of game, new game pluses. I oh, yeah, yeah. Batman, the Batmans. Batmans. Yeah. <laughs> um, real good. I, I a lot, lot of War, replay. did you play that one again? Or? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that was sort of structured that you could... It, that had a new game plus and... Yeah. But, yeah, big time. I could go on a God of War replay, yeah. like, tonight. To be honest, yeah, it's such a f- good game. But now, I, now I want to wait until I get a PS5 because they've released the. There you go. There's a reason to get a PS5. It's not a good enough reason. Well, but you know the little reasons start to. You know they got Destruction All Stars. Uh, they got Astro's Playroom. Are you gonna get a PS5? Which is good because you can't uh, get one. No, I might. I won't. But I think Pete's got his eye on it. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh oh. Look out. Look out. You'll have one in the house soon enough. Family dinner's about to be ruined. Uh, <laughs> don't tell mom. Uh, Call the cops. Lock up the daughters. Eat the children. What's going on in this? The children. Paint the ceiling. Get that so blood. Put it on the roof. It is hot Crack in the back. It is hot in here. We Eat should. Um, cheese. Thank you, mum. If, uh, if you have a question you'd like us to answer on the show, wax your wallet. Ten dollar. <laughs> Patreon to wax your wallet. Eat the bean. <laughs> Ribble your cat. <laughs> um, Mungus. You can jump on the ten dollar Patreon tier, and then you can the chocolate and submit questions to to ask. Um, we have to thank our top patrons now. Oh my you God. have to. We have to. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta thank your top you patrons. You should. Um, Adam Donaghy, Adam Jim Batista, Alice, Amy G, Balasaru, Ben Lovett, Cameron Fullwood, Shemeth Rudratney. It's all right, Gonzo. Uh, Chandler the Beckerman, Christian Nordheim, Christian Sanchez, Cypher D H, David Bourne, David Cunningham, Dixie Dean Seventeen, Drew Peisner, Drew Schuller, Elliot C M, Aaron Yetkinler, Evan S Darling, Gay Carl Marx, Jen B, Greg Middleton, Jack F Mufadi, uh, Gemita, Josh Apter, Kieran Desmondo, Kylie Jones, Kylie Sanchez. <laughs> Lachlan Chapman, Matthew Ryan, Marissa Layden, Money Man Sam, Nesta Gaharo, Paul Barbie, Perry Ritter, uh, Peter Ways Chesco, Rattlehead Jake, Rawasaw, Robbie Proctor, Santeri Rakonin, Scott Chapman, Shabab Hader, Sean Prague, Stephen Burke, Siraj Paris, Zach Seinbacher. Whoa, what a list. Thanks so, so much many for, uh, That's fantastic. Thank you so much for supporting us. Uh, uh, if I only you donated wanna... to the charity and she said you have to read it out like uh, Christian said. Oh, that's so. nice. If uh, you come and donate to my charity drive, I will read out your name. Like a, like a Christian Sanchez? Yep. Oh, if you come fair. to my comedy festival show, I'll say your <laughs> name. Yeah, there you go. I'll stop doing the show and I'll just scream your name. Yeah. Wow. I will scream it. If what are you going to do? Show, okay. If you come to my um, show, I'll dig a hole. Everyone that comes to the show, I'm going to stop. Every time you send me a name, I'm going to dig a hole. Send her a name, she's going to dig a hole. Wow. Evan, what are you going to do? I mean, I'll just read, I'll add it to the list, right? Every Evan, time for goodness sake. you send Evan a name, he reads it from the list. Okay. <laughs> um, if you want to hear your name read out on the show, jump on the $20 Patreon tier. Um, there's some great benefits to signing up to the Patreon. Uh, you get uh, episodes early. Um, you get to join us in the Discord, which is nice. A nice little community of uh, little fans in the Discord, which is nice. Um, you get the... Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing! Jeez! Evan, what, are you looking forward to any games coming out at all? No. Hey, is anybody... What about Back for Blood? That looks good. What about Talking Humankind? About games, I hate games. What about... Uh... Can somebody from WA please adopt... There's two staffies. They both look like Bruce. They are eight years old, I think, and they are cute as hell. And I want you to adopt the dogs if you live in WA because I can't because they're not available for interstate adoption. But they're on my Instagram story. Adopt the dogs. And if you live in WA and your name is Mike Russell, hello, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many Mike Russells there are in WA. No one knows. No one, no, you can't, how would we know? Also, yes. How would anyone If you're currently find stuck in Albany and your name is Lynn, hello mum. <laughs> Sign up to the Patreon at patreon.com slash gamingame. Uh, and if you enjoy the show, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, tell your friends about it, share it around. 
Um, join us on the on the subreddit. That end of the disc is the end of the Titanic that sinks first. <laughs> you can podcast the show in the podcast app. Um, you can stream us live on Twitch. There's so many so many ways to enjoy this show. Um, uh, ben, have you got anything you'd like Gentlemen, to? Gentlemen, it was on a to perform with you today. <laughs> ben, you uh, you have a podcast called The Grub. That is true. Uh, and you stream on Twitch. That one is member true. is your your Twitch name. Yes. And you are you doing shows at Comedy Festival? I am doing shows. Melbourne at International Comedy Festival. What are that, what? How do we find you? I find you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> great. <That's pretty> good. <laughs> uh, Michelle, um, anything you'd like to plug? Yeah. You've could- got a Patreon of your own. I do. Um, so you can sign up to that. It's just my name. Or you can come to my comedy festival show, which I want you to do. Um, Why should we come? Because it's really good. Because it's a beautiful story about a bear who's afraid to go into hibernation because she's afraid about spring. And also, it's also a story about me and my family and living in the shadow of a genetic disease and why I am who I am. And it's interesting. It's not like a bullshit, like, oh, I'm telling my life. It's actually very interesting. So come and see it. It's going to be funny and sad. And that song, The Fingering Shed, that you all like is in it. So please come and see it. I'm very excited, but it is limited numbers and I, I don't want you to miss it. What happens if tickets on sale now? Can we buy tickets? You can buy tickets right now, and it's on in the Gold Coast too, and Perth and Sydney, but it's not on sale yet. But Gold Coast and Melbourne is on sale already. All right, we'll go check that out. The Goldie. Um, Kate, have you got anything you would like to plug? Um, uh, anything on? What am I? What am I doing? (laughs) Nothing's like released yet or anything. Right, a lot in the works. Just brewing. I'm just doing a lot of brewing. I'm doing some improv. Kombucha. Yeah. Got some kombucha in my stomach. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that I will be bottling at some point. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If maybe I need to start. I'm going to start being better at social media this year. Oh yeah. <laughs> I look at Beck like she's my like comforter about this. <laughs> Thanks, Beck. Um, anyway, just go to my Instagram. If you spell my name correctly, you'll find my Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Gonzo, did you want to plug anything, sweetheart? Gonzo, his butt. Gonzo. <laughs> you want to plug anything? You want to plug anything, Gonz? His tail is going mad. Yeah. He's, he's excited, so excited, excited but he's, yeah, he's nervous about it. Okay. Gonzo. He doesn't know what to plug. I'm going to eat you. No. <laughs> yep. No. Oh. <laughs> um, hey, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you next week. I scared week. the dog. Bye. <laughs> Evil. Okay, sweetie. It's okay. <laughs>